Good morning, everyone. It's Cindy. How are you this morning? Hey, it's debate day. <laughs> you know, yesterday I did the TikTok and I was like, eh, you know, over this debate. She's only got to do a couple things and then, um, you know, get to a couple of states. And then all day yesterday in the news cycle, I was listening to all this commentary. And today I'm just kind of fired up over it, right? Like, first off, um, the whole narrative around this debate has to do with Vice President Harris. Like, there's no, no one's even talking about what we were talking about a few weeks ago when Joe Biden was on the ticket, which is age, how old, how come we're not addressing um, in the news media the fact that we have a practically 80-year-old candidate? How come we're not talking about the fact that he's a criminal? How are we allowing a criminal to move, to move forward? And how has the kind of like the whole Red Sea has parted for his candidacy, right? All the uh, sentencing on his trials have uh, been pushed away. Like, why is he getting the red carpet? Is, is this, you know, is this God showing us just how far wide and deep privilege exists in this country and the things that we need to do to start addressing it? I don't from my perspective, why does Vice President Harris have to meet a bar? Shouldn't he? Shouldn't he have to have a clean record to be able to run for office? Shouldn't he have to account for the fact that he's raping women and, oh my God, just the fact that he's on the ticket is indicative of how difficult it is to take it outside of politics, no matter what system we're in. Getting these folks like him to be held accountable is something else. I, I'm just looking forward to my whiskey this evening to watch this debate. I hope she eats him alive.